Hi guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to see some of the new features for the Linear OS 14.1, which is based on the Android Nougat 7.1.1. Now, before you start watching this, I will request you to watch another video in which I have shown you the top 25 plus features for the unofficial uh, Linear OS 14.1, which is also based on the Android Nougat. And when I, as usual, whenever I do any kind of review for any application in ROMs, I do write all set of features. So after that, I just verify to the old unofficial. So most of the features are almost same except that couple of new ones are came here so in this video i will be showing you how you can do all the stuff what kind of features you got how you can install it so i'm just gonna go to the recovery and show you how you can do that so make sure to root your device so once you are inside the recovery you just need to go inside the wipe section go to the advanced wipe and make sure to select this all the stuff except the internal storage and do a complete wipe once you do that just need to go inside the install directory and select the file that you're going to install so you need to actually select the correct version that i've used so it is based on the 21st february and also you need to select this open g apps and optionally you can root it from here the, the version i have used is uh, sr5 uh, 2007-8 so that should work for you too so that's the new animation you can see I'm just making a close zoom here so we have got the device back and everything is working perfectly the fingerprint sensor is also working fine and in case you're using the reliance geo lt connection so everything is working pretty great so not problem it should come very soon and usb otg is working great wi-fi is working fine no issues with that and also i'm getting an average battery life of four hours plus so before that my nexus 6p was not giving a great backup but yeah i did well i have got at least half an hour more screen on time and let's get inside and i've just kept the same look and i just added this is actually the great features here you can actually built in this big weather widget you can actually see the temperature what kind of stuff are there kind of moon condition and light everything is there so this is the default launcher give you guys a quick overview there is no set of built-in wallpaper you need it depends on the application that you installed this is how your widget section goes on and you can actually navigate from here in the same way they did in the launcher if you go inside the setting you get the optional features search bar you can disable enable wallpaper grid size you can do that fast call type icon size you can change that and yeah this is also important feature it takes an all suppose that you just locked this uh, yellow and the only way you can lock it back if you just uh, it will actually disable from the you can see it has disabled from here so you need to actually open it from here or you can go to the setting so you can see actually launch from the block you just need to use fingerprint sensor it is going to work now let's just start with the status bar so i'm just going to get inside and let me just increase the brightness you can do it from the status bar itself there is a different entry in the status bar yeah before that let's go and show you guys the setting stuff so you got the usual stuff here display sound storage battery and gestures features extra here buttons features here also status bar system profile i do have covered all the features in the previous one so get inside the status bar you do have options you can change the clock position you can make it a right center or left so that's how you can do that EMPM option is here you can change the battery style text and circle which is your preferred way you can do it that way also uh, you got this uh, yeah one more important point here if you just do it from here you get this uh, quick toggle do it from the center you get the quick toggle if you just do it from here you're going to see the complete notification so you can change the order from which way you do that say quick pull down i have just done the right if i make it to the left i'm going to get this complete from here so this is actually these are important and smaller point but they are very great feature brightness control notification count is there in the status bar you can check it that way all those things so this is about the status bar now let's go back to desktop again and i want to show you one important feature about this alarm you can see i just set an alarm in the morning so you along with the calendar and the clock stuff you can do that if you just click it here it will go to the alarm section you can do and change the stuff you want and you do have one great uh, weather widget too which is actually very nice you can get the same feature on your pixel or you can just add a third party you know like pixel widget so you don't need to download any application everything is built in there this is very rare generally uh, you know the weather widget doesn't come built in but yeah lena joyce is giving this feature now let's go inside the display i do have some important things here actually it is working very great and there are some very nice here the display is very advanced here the live display feature you can see my screen is a little bit uh, yellowish here so actually i've just changed it now it has become to white and it does work very nice as soon as i reach to the evening past 6 to 7 pm in the night so i just changed my screen color to the little bit of night mode kind of thing and other things i don't check you can do the color calibration going inside uh, you do have other option ambient display everything is fine big to 
uh, we can plug double tap to make it's working great expand the desktop once you select what kind of application do you want to expand the desktop say if you open any particular application let me just try that out here if i just show you the hello turn that on all right so now you can see this has been hidden so once you do that here you can see it's hidden so you can do it from here that's very nice and you can do and uncheck from here all right cast feature default font size you can change that so and uh, rotation settings they have actually different set of rotation kind of degrees you can do now they do have very important feature which is called as a privacy guard once you go inside that one say i'm just going to uh, launch any application say i launch the twitter so it shows you information actually what kind of information it can access you can just immediately click here it shows you in a detailed way like wi-fi scan how many number of times it got access you can just click here allow ignore and all this actually they show us time you can see how many times my twitter has access 2722 times very great and you do can actually change in the start of the boot so some of the features are really very great drew on the top so many cool things you can do with this privacy guard here and also uh, going back you do have protected apps you can change from here lineage statics you can do and send from here send them and which kind of applications you can run from here you can lock it and lock it from here itself and some important points i do have found inside the batteries too so they have very great way to optimize the battery the battery saver and the performance will get inside you do have the extreme power saver feature you can enable it and automatic power saver you can do that but i guess this is very great once you enable that you can see they turns off everything inside the background they enable the you know all time battery saver mode so maybe different things i haven't checked but it should be very effective and also some important things here system profile you can actually import the profile you can create a new profile uh, what kind of things you can want say you're going outside or you're sleeping you can just enable the silent one and you can just configure what kind of things are going to work inside the night say location wi-fi mobile data there's a different way and also going back there's a just just feature let me show you here so they got the quick things lift to check phone jump to the camera and double tap to sleep and this is also works and one point which is buttons here so they have so much option i can just double tap here on this home button you have the options wake to device volume button control playback and the buttons layout you have the long press action smaller that same stuff you can do on the other one three and three devices home button action you can do from here i just selected turn off so left hand mode you can do change the buttons and the layout from here so i can adjust everything if you want to customize your things and volume buttons action control button actions cursor key disable so a lot of cool option for the buttons too they are providing now let's jump inside the app section they are very important informations too getting inside same hello so you have to have options here you can see notifications you can change and actually if i just compare with the another android version so by default android nougat gives you six level zero one two three four five and they have improved it to seven i don't know zero to six so maybe i need to check out and actually you can check how many number of intervals uh, after say you're getting so many tweets at a time you can actually set instead of you know uh, bluffing and single making a lot of noise with your ringtones you can just set it say 10 seconds after that next notification sound will become so this is also a nice way you can change uh, the notifications uh, behavior now let's jump inside the settings uh, security there's important features too if you go inside the security this is one of the cool feature actually uh, by default the uh, devices are encrypted so you can actually change the encryption password you can replace the encryption password that's very nice here and you do have options you can turn on and off which kind of applications you do want to run uh, on the startup say on the boot time so that's it guys pretty much for this uh, cyanogen mod 14.1 feature so for detailed listing of feature make sure to watch my previous video so everything is step by step here so almost all things are common there i just found a couple of them are new here so things that i really like about this cyanogen mod is here so this is very nice so at the end whether you should be using as a daily driver or not so yeah definitely uh, it's very great and they have the latest security patch level too i guess it is of january not of the february so if you go inside this about phone you can check out this is still based on the January 5 they do have to come with this uh, February security patch level so installation uh, is great features wise great battery is great and displays everything working fine I just missed one important information the Google camera sorry this uh, the camera they are giving so they do have this uh, so many features were there they are not manual but they do have options actually you can select it from a lot of options are there you do have the video and the photos gallery you can switch from selfie mode from here and they supports actually uh, from the 4k to qvg resolution if you just get inside 
so the support from the 4k to qvga so that's very nice they can select from here and picture quality so looks okay i did compare that the same with the nexus 6p photos with the default uh, camera i do have the default google camera too and i compare the same photo with both of them so both of them looks fine i don't see much difference because they're using the same camera internal but you you're going to get a lot of features from here so in case your guy who really likes to play with this uh, you know a lot of manual control so go ahead and try this lineage OS camera it looks great so there you have it guys pretty much the detailed review and the tour for the lineage 14.1 do let me know in the comment in case you have any concerns queries i hope you guys did enjoy it this sort of i'll catch you soon have a great day